Hello and welcome back to Fort Triumph with me, Barden. We're on version 0.10.4 and I'm very excited to see what has been added to the game. So at the moment the campaign isn't here, it's coming soon. And uh, we can't load older ones. The last series I did was on 0, uh, 0.10.2. So we're going to start a new skirmish. We we'll just do random and then we're going to play. And we're on legendary difficulty. So it'll be interesting to see after a while away from the game and then the changes that have been made to the game as well, whether like I'm rusty or if I can keep up with what's going on. So before we, before we get into this, with the storyteller, let me just uh, fill you in on what's been added in the latest the latest update to the game okay let me see so there's new currency and world map changes the market has changed all hail the bitcoin our world's new main currency costs have been changed accordingly and some beat farms for you to capture have sprung across the map to leverage a new trend magic is still used for specialized services okay cool so it means that um, it used to be magic and renown that we spend. So I guess it's magic and Bitcoin now instead. Okay. Meanwhile, we keep upgrading and iterating our dynamic world. Okay. Then there's towns, buildings, and guilds upgrade. Okay. Patch 0.10.4 introduces the long awaited overhaul to hubs, hereafter known as towns, and sets the infrastructure for deeper strategic gameplay. Previous placeholder upgrade system is also gone. Okay, so new upgrade system. Uh, let's see. Try new build and let us, okay, let us know what you think. Guilds upgrade are universal, can only be bought once and can never be lost regardless of any particular town's ownership status. Okay, so we have a number of different places that we own. We upgrade in one place but lose it. It still applies to the other places. Okay, that's good. Now, what else? Major changes. Okay, Bitcoin. Add a building which increases Bitcoin production. Okay. Add a building which unlock buildings which unlock higher tier units and grant a defenseless bonus when the town is attacked. Okay. Oh, and including a controllable ballista. Okay. Added multiple faction specific buildings with different perks for units, heroes, or for the guild. Overhaul battle difficulty indication to a single five skull meter of relative difficulty based on your currently selected party okay so that replaces the kind of a b a minus b minus thing okay so it's just five skulls so it makes it a lot easier obviously the other one maybe had more um, variation in it but five skulls seems like pretty pretty intuitive and straightforward for people to work out Okay, several ability upgrades, including some lift brace kick upgrades, for example. Okay, lift upgrade is something that I'm going to be very interested in seeing because lift, for me, it didn't it didn't feel like it was worth taking someone's turn to lift lift an enemy or lift a person. So hopefully that changes with that. Okay, um, so from skill tree, okay, several ability upgrades were removed from skill trees and reintegrated as town guild upgrades. Okay, so... Hmm... I'm not... Ah, I maybe got excited about it too early, we'll have to see. Okay, remove the key segment of the tutorial after a port. Okay, we don't need to worry about that, we're not going to be doing the tutorial. Let's see, balance increase chain lightning cooldown from 3 to 4. Turns, I guess that is increased slow effect of frostbite to slow units by five rather than three. That's good because um, that means that it is actually effective to to put frostbite on people. Use level requirements of fire blast from four to two. Okay, so kind of minor tweaks, a lot of minor tweaks there. Air behavior AR now properly detects tax of opportunity when moving diagonally across the enemy. Okay. So that would be interesting to see that in action. Hopefully we don't do too many of those movements to trigger it though. Uh, range unit AI will be more willing to soak 
arrange Overwatch attack in order to leave the zone of control and be able to use range. Ah, okay. So they want to sit there overwatching themselves. They'll, they'll actually look to move around and maybe get a flank on people. Okay, and classic or legendary difficult range units will try to maintain distance beyond the normal movement range of your melee units. Ah, the normal difficulty range units will be less vigilant and fail to stay out of reach. Okay, so it's basically making it easier because it says as before for the classic and legendary, but normal now will make it easier where range units won't keep kind of backing off and shooting. They'll stay there so that you can close with them. Okay, so that's good for maybe newer players so that the learning curve isn't that difficult for them. Tweak the AI to use fewer abilities in lower difficulties. Okay, again, better for newer players. Range units will account for the speed of melee units if slowed so it won't come too close. Okay, range units will now properly recalculate hit chances when moving out of control. Zone to a new position. Okay. Self detonate on goblin bombers will now behave as intended and self cast. Okay, so I guess it means that they will blow themselves up rather than. Oh, we can actually see down at the bottom. Well, you can't see, but I can see. There's a gif about it. It looks very funny. <laughs> okay, so, so those are the updates. Uh, it's pretty major. And I'm very much looking forward to getting in and enjoying this. So let's see what we have here. After several days of traveling, our heroes stop for a momentary rest. Ah, uh, outside. Not seen in a long time. Time on inside change you. You poor thing. What have those monsters done to you? I wouldn't have said anything. But you don't need to eat worms anymore. We can find you a proper meal. What? Healthy breakfast. Best part of outside. Oh, Yander wrinkles her nose. Gross. Well, let's look at what we have remaining on our the agenda. Yander carefully unfurls a poster containing the details of your assignment. Hierarch Quest Poster Citizens of Argathia The Great Hierarch Pandemanticus has learned of an unsettling plot against our fair lands. Any capable heroes or unwitting adventurers willing to perform the task of eradicating these ancient enemies of the kingdom will receive a reward of 1,000 crowns from the kingdom's treasury, all expenses included. Is that now 1,000 beats, maybe? This quest approved by Hierarch Pandemanticus, paid for by Hierarch Pandemanticus. Okay, a bit of self-promotion there from him, I guess. On the bottom of the parchment, you look at your own quickly scribbled to-do list. Ask Archmage Lazo Lazognius about possible team members. Meet highly recommended Savage near Goblin Encampment. Rendezvous with Paladin and Ranger. Okay. Recruit monsters from a hub to join us. Amass a powerful army. Reach and destroy the enemy hub to save Argathia. Monetary yield. Okay. You currently command two parties, Savage and Mage, Paladin and Ranger. Before starting your journey, you should recruit units from your hub nearby. Good luck. Okay, so so I guess the beat is just around the place. Okay. And then we got like a beat farm here as well. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that's like three and a half skull difficulty. And that's a five skull difficulty. Okay. So let's see what we can recruit. So we start with 400 beats. So heroes cost 450. Okay. So I think it would make sense to go and grab this. Okay. And then pop them back. And which part is this? Okay. So. That party already have a, has a mage and a savage. I think I'll buy them another savage. Okay. 
and then they are two skull difficulty so you guys go fight them yes let's battle hopefully as well the sound is better than on my other series because i've got a new microphone and a new um pre-processor and a whole bunch of other stuff that as i said i hope oh i never assigned that lady to the party so this will be fun but it is only two skulls okay these guys are peasants but just because they're peasants doesn't mean that i should take them lightly so you're going to oh watch there then Krita, Krita Skull Splitter is going to move to here. Okay. Okay, so we've got at least four peasants. Wait, did they not actually do anything? I don't think they took their turn. Oh, may maybe because I didn't end her turn. That could be it. Okay, so you pop behind the tree then. And just tempt them in because they're melee they do have rocks i believe that they control but they're generally melee like so. they have six health she's leveled up that's nice yeah miss with a rock yeah two savages would have made this pretty easy work for us Okay, so let's check your level up. Right, uh, I think Electrocute is going to be pretty useful here. Then Krita, let's turn the camera a little. Let's bring you to here. Then we kick you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kick you. Okay, nice. <laughs> oh, combos are brilliant in this game. Oh, I've missed you. Or Triumph, we really have. Okay, so, oh, what's this green one? Something new. Evasive Instinct. Cause all reacts and attacks against the Savage to have minus 50% chance to hit. Okay. So for now, I think dash and slash. But I definitely want... That would be a good combo to have with dash and slash. Okay, and then for you, let's pop you behind here. Okay. And let's see. Let's use electric because this guy's going to have to move. Oh, we, we missed. Okay. Well, such is life. Yeah, that would have been good. We would have almost killed him, I think. We'll execute from there. Okay, now. So that dude over there, she's going to move over to here. Then she's going to whirlwind down this tree no don't worry with critter there you go worm in the tree just kill that guy okay then got that to put into our um pockets at the end of this you can i guess just kill this one okay then the other dude will get closer and we'll finish him off. Okay. Oh, he actually hit us. Right now. Excuse 59. Your magic arrow. That's interesting. That's changed. That used to be what the. the oh, what was the name? The professor that helps you in the storyline had but she used to have a different at least a different icon for that 18 percent chance we don't like that okay so you dash and slash and 
go to here. And kick that dude. So yeah. Okay. So we got an A plus on that. It wasn't that difficult though. Now, you go back there and you take her into the party. There we go. Okay, I forgot it. You have to click on them and then click in the slot that you want to put them in. Okay, and then you guys go here and there's 400 okay so that means that these guys can now go there and they can also recruit right so we can get her or you now long term um, the mage is going to be more useful when when you get to the point where you're dealing with a lot of enemies but to start I think an extra melee so let's by you or wait oh here is a refresher we hang on let's see creatures we can definitely purchase them okay so i think we can only recruit one hero a week i guess that's the case or we do have enough beats oh we don't have enough um magic okay so let's see this team they're gonna be four skulls but then we get to the magic hmm Let's try this one and try to get to the magic so that we can get an extra person in our party. Let's battle. I don't want to, to shy away from difficult things too much. Okay, so it's spiders. Right, so these ones do have a ranged attack. But they will generally try to close into melee range, so... She's going to move back here. Okay. Then 53, 54. I uh, probably should have electrocuted and then moved, but hey ho. Let's try to electrocute you. Okay, missed. Now, you guys, let's bring you up here and let's end the turn. Okay, so this is a good start. You basically want to stack them. Okay. Yeah, that's a good place for you. Now, if you stay there, that would be perfect. Now, you're going to come around a little, yeah. So you're going to be a little, a little more difficult. No, we can't handle it. Okay. Now. But all of these guys are in a lovely line. So. She is going to go. Now, does that give an attack of opportunity? Let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Now, we're going to do this. This is going to be so much fun. There we go. Ah, oh, I was hoping that it would keep going. That, that that one would knock that tree down, but it didn't. Oh, because the tree fell on it rather than moving it. That's why. Okay. Right, so then that leaves these guys. Um, let's switch to you. Okay, 
you're gonna kick this one that way okay then you're going to go let's turn the camera so we don't let muck it up we're gonna go around there okay and you're gonna kick these dudes that way okay kind of middle is not doing well is he Okay, so that chap there might be a problem. Let's start with you. So you're going to kick again. Okay, not a problem. And you've leveled up too. Good job, Critter. Now, let's grab this. I think that's going to be fun. Okay, so then we have these guys, so what can you do? This one has 9 points, that one has 10, okay. And how much damage do they do? They do 5 to 6, okay, so they can't kill any of our guys if there's only one of them. Okay, so let's think about what we're going to do then. She went there, and she lifted. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm not sure whether we have the distance or not, but we're gonna try anyway. She's gonna come here. So as I said, I don't need lift all that often, but she's gonna lift you and put you. Uh, yeah, there. Okay. Then that allows you to kick this one that way and hopefully into the other dude. Oh no, just missed. Okay. So that could be a problem for us. If they both do six. Or if the other one does six, should I say. Okay. So we always got to kill. But it was worth. For me at least, it was worth mucking around like that. Okay, now. So you should move here and you should boot that guy. Okay, that's those guys sorted. Then you should go there and kick them back that way. Now this time they are all stunned, which is great. Now, seven, eight, seven, nine five okay oh she's only she only does two to three damage with that hmm. well i suppose we shoot you now we should get some attacks of opportunity depending on where they move It's interesting that not all of them move. Before it would have been that they would have all moved. Let's see, let's move you to here. Okay. Then you're gonna kick like that. So then that one is gone. Okay, then let's see. You should go here. And you should kick these guys that way. Okay. And then I think that one's going to move. So she's going to electrocute you. Okay, so we took two damage from that. Now I wonder if we kick again, will the electrocute still work? It looks like he still has it on him. So let's see if Maybe being hit by this guy will kill him anyway, though. Okay, he did take damage from the execute. That's good to know. Right now, you're going to go here. Let's see. You've got five left. You've got eight left. Okay. So, okay. 
I was thinking of just kicking him in there and then she pushes him in, but it might be a little bit of risk with one person and one hit point. So let's just do the kick. Okay. Then. Four. Two. Hmm. Let's just shoot. You. Let's just shoot you. Okay, that puts you down to one. That guy is almost dead. Okay, so that's interesting setup from them. Let's start with you. You're going to kick that way, which is going to kill one and stun the one to kick. Okay. And then there's, oh, we should go in here as well. Uh, oh, we can't assign these now. Okay. Need to remember that. All right. Then we have these two guys. Let's see that one. Okay. That one's going to die. So I just need you to move over there. Okay, then you're going to come here. And you're going to kick this dude. Okay. Then she is going to shoot you. Okay, that's you dead. There was a 6% chance that she'd miss and then we could have killed Critter, but thankfully it didn't happen. Now, telekinesis, mm, empower, okay, that could be good, but I think blink, blink has been made so much better because of the, the changes to the enemies, blink is just so much more useful. Okay, then we end our turn. Okay, so both of these guys are dead now. Okay, so let's get you a kill. Oh, actually, no, they're not. Okay. How about you? Can you just get a kill here? Yeah, you can. Okay, so you kill him. Could be a level up for you as well. Yes, it is. Right, so you get dash and slash. There's two dash and slashes. Are better than one, as I say. Well, nobody says that, but now I do. Okay, so you come to here. So you should go there, then there, then over. But I'm worried about her maybe somehow getting knocked by him. So I'm going to move her over here for now. Just in case. And you're going to kick that one in. There you go. See ya. Okay, so we're going to be there probably because of the damage that we took, but that's fine. Um, overall, you know, it, it lived up to the ranking as a kind of four skill, I feel that there, there was a lot more thinking about how we were going to contain them in that one. Right, and then, oh, next week you're going to get that, okay. Right, so that means then these guys, you may as well open this. Okay, 300 B coins, and then open this. Okay, and we got a health potion on that, and then open this. 200 more B coins, and then make your way back there. Okay, and then we'll end our turn. And we're going to end the episode as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right. And check out some other videos here on the left.